Good morning, welcome back to another video um, and another early morning as usual. So we are a few days away from Christmas, um, halfway through December now. And as promised, uh, I said I will try and get a few more videos done before Christmas. So that is the plan today. Um, I'm going to fish a new water today actually, somewhere that I've never fished before off a boat. Um, so that's going to be fun. It didn't really give it, but it does feel quite windy out there at the minute, so it's going to be interesting. Especially when I don't know the water, I don't know where the sheltered areas are and things like that. So that's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, yeah, I got my buddy Peter Black out today. Uh, Peter's been out with me a number of times over the last couple of years. Um, he's quite interested in learn a, a water uh, for the first time. He uh, he sort of wants to know how I would pick a water apart, um, which is going to be quite tricky to do in one day, but we're going to give it a go. I'm um, going to use the Raymarine Fish Finder and Avionics charts, that sort of thing, try and get a bit of an idea of what we're looking at and what we're what we're going to try and do. So that's really the gist of the video, is just trying to trying to figure out a new water. Um, we know the best places to catch fish this time of the year and that sort of thing. And that, that's really it. Hopefully we get a few. It'd be nice to, to, to get a good fish on a new water. Um, but anyway, stick around, stay tuned. We'll see you on the boat. Okay, here we go. We're on the water. I just wanted to stop to let us have a look at some of the bait fish that we found. Absolutely insane. So to tell the truth, we actually have already uh, been doing a bit of fishing. We just stopped and uh, Peter had one about four pound on a lure. So, as I said, it's not a water that I'm overly familiar with from the boat. So we're just going to do a bit of scouting about and uh, see what we find. Okay, here we go. So we just came over a nice area, it's a bit of a, an entrance. So once you come out of this entrance and it drops off into like 24 feet and we've seen quite a few fish. You can see them on the live. And uh, so we started doing a bit of perch fishing and sure enough then we seen a pike coming right in and uh, literally three times there was a rod there away. <laughs> literally three times it, it came and hit the drop shot and, and we got it in. <laughs> there we go. Bigger than the one you caught on the pike lure. Yeah, actually is. Can you manage? But that was, uh, just what's that rod tip? Yeah, it was excellent there, seeing it on the, seeing it on the, on the live, coming up and hitting it three times. There go. Yeah, yeah, I'll hold the rod. Chin him there. What was that? Weird, oh. weird noise, whatever that was. You get it? Bring him in and let us see him now. I just left a memo sort of out after, huh? Didn't I? Tell you why he's spotless, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, sure. Hold him up there and let the camera see him and then we'll get the hook out. Nice fish on the Ned Salamander. Okay, we'll get it back. Okay, so stand on the move. Let this sort of have a bit of an idea of what. I like to be looking at. So you can see there's plenty of bait fish showing in the down scan. Um, same side scan, obviously. You can see out to the right and left. Um, but whenever I come to a water that I don't really know, you can see I've done like one lap around here before with, a, with the auto mapping. Um, I like to fish areas where you can see there's a bit of a channel running through here, running on into the lake. I like to fish off the point and target any any fish that's moving between this open part and that open part. If you think about it, it's one narrow corridor where the fish are gonna have to move in between. So that's one area I'd always like to go. Always fish off points in the deep water, drop offs. But obviously you're always looking for your bait fish. That's the number one thing. 
don't know what's going on today, but they seem to be interested in the drop shot uh, instead of uh, the dead baits. So maybe you got your legs there too, you know, it's just another thing for them to get stuck on. So another one on the Ned Salamander. That's a lure I've done really well on, both pike and perch. Seem to go mad for it. Oh no, put it, put it under the rods. He's come back the other way now, is he? Recording now? Mm -hmm. So, pack the dead bait gear away and uh, start fishing with the lures. We haven't had a touch on the dead baits yet, it's all been lures. Come on, doesn't take long then. Oh, 3D river roach. They're always in a bad way. Don't try this at home. Don't worry about that, no, it's still running. Huh? There we go. First one for me. Always nice to get them on a lure though. Captain Birdseye wants to go home. Okay, trying a bit of trolling now, kill a bit of time. It's went very quiet, I think we're in five fish all together. Trolling, deep water, through all that bait fish. A few guys over there fishing on the bank. I don't know if they're giving off to me or they're just chatting. But um, it's cold. I'm using a 4D rattle trout lemon pattern. And I'm using the SG2 130 to 230 gram trolling and planer specialist. Bit of a mouthful, so it's an actual trolling rod that I'm using. Let's see if we can get a bend on it. Right, so that's it. We're gonna call it quits. We're gonna actually leave about an hour early. Um, and the reason being is it's just got a bit slow and also Peter. Yeah, um, Peter went on the beer last night, so it literally took him to dinner time, I think, before he started to feel human again. Um, but we got five pike. Nothing on dead bait, which is really strange. 7.2 degrees water temperature. I would have put money on it that it would have been the other way around that we got five on dead baits and nothing on lures. Um, good fun seeing them on the live actually turning and coming and hitting the baits and things like that. Um, but yeah, strange day, but I think we learned a bit about the water anyway, at the very least. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always. Stick around for the next one, hopefully. It won't be very long, and uh, yeah, see you then.